Hello and welcome to the MVCI Ultimate Beginner's Guide. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, a much more freeform conversational beginner's guide for this last video, or videos if I decide to break them up, because I am having a second child and I'm not going to have the time to make tightly cut, uh, well edited videos, but I want to get the rest of the information that I, I kind of had outlined for these guides out there so that people can use them. So apologies that this is going to be a longer form video, but I do want to get all the information out there. So. Uh, for this part of the video, we're going to be talking about decision making and resource management for beginners. So one thing that is kind of a big differentiator between what I would say uh, beginner players and even intermediate players and uh, more advanced higher level players is the way that they manage their resources. And the resources in this game, as I view them, are uh, your health uh, up at the top there. Uh, your meter for the purposes of supers and your storm gauge and you have ways of uh, changing or using uh, building and uh, spending these resources so let's start with meter uh, meter you build it when you hit people build it in combos different combo routes uh, will give you different meter Meter is built in the combo irrespective of the damage dealt. Every move in the game just has an amount of meter it builds, and it has an amount of meter it builds your opponent. Uh, hit grabs notably uh, build you more meter than your opponent, uh, better than uh, normal hits. So, uh, there are three ways that you can spend meter in this game. So you can either spend it mid-combo for damage, like this, uh, you can spend it uh, outside of a combo for lockdown pressure. If I do something like this, she's blocking. Lockdown super pressure for mix. Uh, you can also use it uh, as a bust out. You know, if you, uh, I'll just give myself some meter here. Uh, you can use it as a bust out if your character has a bust out or if your character has level threes. You're eating pressure. Just randomly bust out. There's command grab supers as well um, that can be used uh, in a similar capacity where you just have a read. You're not in a combo, but you're going to use your command grab super. And then the last way that you can spend meter is through counter tag. So if I, oops, no, 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 no. Uh, where am I going here? Here we go. So if I record, you know. play that back you know you can hold two you can hold two meter and counter tag to get out of a combo so that's the other way that you can spend meter and as far as I'm concerned those are the only ways that you can spend meter um, if I've missed one I'm sorry but that, that's all I could think of uh, so let's talk about how you want to spend meter in those situations so in a combo when should you spend meter when you're comboing the opponent uh, there's, you know, it, it, it's a fighting game. There's a lot of things to be considered with resource management. I'm just going to preface all of these things by saying there are no hard and fast rules that every player is going to follow and that is always going to be correct. But this guide is aimed specifically at beginners and trying to correct the mistakes beginners make. And the big mistake that I see beginners make is they'll do a combo like this. You know, they will not. They'll, they'll do a combo. And they'll instantly spend meter. You know, and that maybe they'll maybe they'll just keep on dumping meter. Maybe they'll just like, ah, oh, I can keep on spending meter. I'm I'm super good at this game, and then I'll spend a third meter. Look at how good I am. Um, and that's not necessarily a good use of your meter. Um, one thing you may have noticed is I started that combo with the jab. So let's let's start with when uh, when should you spend meter in a combo? Well, what was the first hit of the combo? So the way, the way hit scaling works in this game is the first hit of the combo determines what scaling the combo has. Uh, in general, light punches and tag crash will scale the combo 80% damage. Um, so 80%, you'll do 80% of the damage that a combo with uh, heavy scaling would do. So if you start with a heavy button, uh, you have 100% damage, your combo is unscaled. If you start with a light kick, uh, you have 90% scaling. If you start with a throw or a command grab, you have more scaling. I don't have that number in front of me, but it, it is worse scaling than uh, just a light kick. Um, 
yeah, War Destroyer, that, that, that's what I'm getting at. In general, you don't want to end the combo with a super unless it will kill. That's not 100% true. There are other situations where you might want to use a, a super in a combo, but for beginners, in general, you want to kill with your with your meter spend. You want to save your meter for counter tag for when you get hit, um, and you want to you want to use it for securing kills. So you know if Carol is at uh, fifty percent health and I get a hit, you know I I might choose to do something like this. To secure the kill and uh, you know if I was really on point I might try to do something even like this um, and the reason that I would do something like this I uh, don't know if I have OTG yeah I don't I screwed up uh, the reason you would do something like that, thank you for the sub, uh, The reason I would do something like that, uh, sorry for not getting the combo correctly, is that uh, uh, supers lock out counter tag. So another time you might want to use supers in a combo is to prevent counter tag. So if, if you have the resources to kill, a lot of the time, rather than going for a full combo, what people will do is they will do something like this, where they just dump all of their resources to instantly secure a kill. Um, and to make it so that, like, from the first hit to the death of the character, there was nothing the opponent could do in terms of counter-tagging to get out of the damage. Uh, so that's another time that you might want to spend resources. Now, a thing to keep in mind is you might want to uh, dump... Excuse me. You might want to not kill. Uh, the main situation in which you might not want to kill is if the opponent is using Soul Stone and... You know, let's say that there, you know, I, this is going to be annoying to set up, but let's say that, for example, I'm just going to do a bunch of damage to Carol here. Let's say Carol is at about this health, right? And I know that they have Soul Stone. Now, and let's say I have, just for the purposes of this, I'm just going to spend a bar and make it so I don't auto recover. Uh, oh, there we go. Ah, uh, she healed. I hate how that does that. Alright, anyway. The point the point I'm trying to make is I could kill Carol from easily from about this percent right here. So I could kill Carol right now. If I get a hit on Carol, I can kill her. I can dump my storm, I can dump all my meter, and I can kill her. Absolutely, guaranteed. Um, and I could do it without them being able to counterattack. Now let's see what happens if I do that, right? Let's say I just go this, this. Ah, I fucked it up. All right, sorry. Uh, let's say I did this and I did the combo correctly. Sorry, I'm out of practice a little bit. Let's say I, we end in this situation, right? Okay, so now I have... Uh, actually, I wanted to spend three bars there, but whatever. Let me, let me reset that up again. I apologize. All right, let's just say that Carol's dead and I spent a level three to kill Carol. And I spent my storm. So Dante is going to come in here. The opponent, the opponent Dante is going to come in here, and he's going to have Storm, and he's going to be a full life. And now I'm, I don't have meter to counter tag, right? And theoretically, I'm probably going to get into that situation not when I'm at full health, but probably both my characters will be at like half health. So, do you want to spend all of your resources when they can just Soul Storm and bring it all back? I think the answer is generally no. Um, it's, it's, it comes down to the character, to the player, to the situation, obviously. Um, but in general, if the opponent has soul and you are going to put yourself in a situation where you can't counter tag anymore, you can't save your character, and let's say one of your characters is at half health, and if they get hit by one touch, they're dead, then suddenly dumping all of your resources to secure that kill isn't the right decision. And that's sort of what this game is all about, is there's just like a lot of weird interactions and just awkward situations where you have to think about, well, what is the right situation? What is the, the way that I want to do this? Uh, and, you know, wh how do I want to spend my resources? And that's something that new players just don't think about, full, like, full stop. It's just, for new players, it's almost always just dump meter, dump meter, dump meter, dump meter, dump meter. Okay. Uh, so the other situations in which I would say you would want to dump resources. If, let's say that I'm ending the combo here. So, I've seen XC, and I've seen good players do damage and spend meter to get an opponent to about this much life. And I don't necessarily disagree with it. I, I think as long as you have the meter to spare, 
being able to put the opponent at about 10% life is still valid and valuable because it makes it so that you can kill them pretty trivially off of a single touch into a super with no counter tag, and it makes the opponent play a lot more scared. Um, I think that might be a little higher level for beginners, but it is a situation where I'm like, yeah, okay, I can understand why you spent that. Uh, now, the other situation in which I would say it's okay to spend meter is if you're in an awkward combo route and you need to spend meter to, to get your Oki set up. So, like, let's say I screw something up with Carol and I'm like, ah, you know what? I'm going to get ground bounce here. So that, that, that gives me, that gives me a setup. You know, I screwed it up because I'm, like I said, I'm out of practice, but like there, there are situations where certain supers will give you an Oki setup with tag that may be more, uh, advantageous because you screwed up your combo. So like you can use meter to fix a problem, uh, in your combo route. That's absolutely also like, I can understand why you would do that. Um, and then obviously the last thing I said is if you have four bars and you're comfortable spending one meter and you just have the meter to spare and you want to put a little more damage in there, absolutely spend your resources. Um, that being said, uh, that's not a situation that I say, see beginners doing very often. Okay. Let me move on to the next thing. So that's basically my philosophy when spending meter in combos. The other thing I wanted to, to say, sorry, I forgot about this is one thing that, that very few players keep in mind. And it is an important thing to keep in mind. If I tag, when I spend this meter, all of that dealt is de dealt red life. So when you tag your assist character only does red life. Notice how the the health bar for Carol, the, the actual, uh, like, the, the red portion of the health bar did not go down. Uh, so she, she if, if the, if the uh, opponent tags here, she can heal all of that damage that I dealt by doing the super. So sometimes, if you're going to chain supers together and you're not going to kill, which, again, is not a thing I recommend you do anyway, but if you're going to do it, Keep in mind that you may want to wait and tag at the end so that you do actual damage. Because you don't do, like, look at that. That, 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 dealt, that dealt substantially more damage. Yeah, see, even OG didn't know about this. You do substantially more damage uh, if you actually don't tag. That being said, if I do something like this, you know, I'm able to get more damage in with Dante at the same time, right? So I'm able to, if you tag, you're able to do more damage. You're able to do more damage total, which means you might be able to kill, which you may not have been able to do if you didn't tag. But if you're not going to kill, you're setting them up to be able to heal all of the damage you dealt. So it's a thing to keep in mind. It's a thing that a lot of players don't know about. OG didn't even know about it. Um, so, you know, just be aware. Be aware. That's what I'm saying. Okay. When should you spend meter on counter tag? So counter tag, I think you, you should ask yourself the following questions about it, it, about spending meter on counter tag. Uh, did the opponent start the, to the combo with a tag crash or a throw? If they started the combo with a throw or they started the combo with a tag crash and your, your character is reasonably healthy, it's probably a waste of resources. They're doing 80% or less damage, especially off of a throw, unless you're really, really scared about the Oki setup they have off the throw. Strange has Oki setups like that. There are, there are some situations, and especially if you don't have a bust out, if you're really afraid of, this, of, the, Oki, of, of the setup that they're gonna give you, the mix they're gonna put you in, then I would say you could consider spending two, especially if you don't have a bust out. If you have a bust out or a way of getting out of it that doesn't spend, that, that, that uh, spends less than two meters, then I would say you should just bust out tag. So it depends on what your situation is. Uh, so the other question, sorry, the questions I want to say, did they start with a throw? How healthy is the character getting hit? How afraid of the opponent's Oki are you? How much meter do you have? Do you have meter to spare? Does your character have a good bust out? And is the opponent... Oh, yeah. The last thing I want to say is, is the opponent doing tag unsafe combos? Um, if the opponent is doing tag unsafe combos, you should definitely consider counter tagging. And so I'm going to show you a tag unsafe combo with Carol here. So let's say Carol did that combo. And let's say she didn't have tag. Let's say that she... Uh, her character is dead. Her partner is dead. So here's what happens... 
Right, so she goes for that. She, she goes for the uh, unsafe routes. Yeah, unsafe routes. It's easier to show with Sigma, technically. Um, and it's easier to punish with, with, uh, with Sigma. I'm going to try to punish it one more time with Dante. I'll do one more. Right, so she basically has a long, long recovery if she whiffs this button. So if, if Ice Spin comes to mind... Yeah, Ice Spin is... So the thing about Ice Spin is that, like... He can do that. So, like, it's hella unsafe, but he can do this. Dante can do... He can finish it with the button, right? Like, he, like Dante has three different options he can do with the ice to change his... To change the Rekka, right? So, like, he can... I guess it, you can argue that it's not a Rekka. But, like, he can, he can bold cancel out of it. He can do... Right, he can do this. He can bold cancel out and just back off, which is not safe. But you have to be ready to punish the bold cancel. And if you're trying to punish the bold cancel, he can do this. And if you and if you're uh, right, and and uh, and he can also just straight up super out of it. So like, it depends on where he is in it. If you're if you're doing it like while he's up in the air like that, then yeah, that's probably not the safest thing. But it's not the thing that I. It's not. I I think sigma tackle. Um, yeah, yeah, Hydra, Hydra said the same thing, but I think Sigma Tackle is, like, the quintessential, um, un a a a Sigma Air Tackle, I should say, is the quintessential, like, unsafe move, um, for me, at least. That, that like, Sigma, Sigma players really like to do, uh, the shoulder tackle in the air, and if you just counter tag at the beginning of that, it's almost, it it's basically always punishable. Okay, anyway, be aware. Just be aware. Uh, be aware of unsafe routes. That's something that new players are not aware of. They just, they don't lab, they don't lab whether their routes are safe. They don't think about when a, the opponent might want to counter tag. Like, if I always do Blitz Blow uh, Power Surge, which is a, a route that I really like to do, Power Surge is a generally unsafe uh, button. You know, I have to, if they counter tag, I have to go into install super to, to keep it safe. And even then, it's still not necessarily safe depending on what, how they counter tag and what the spacing is. So in this game, if the opponent has meter, you really have to be thinking about uh, what your routes are. And if you have meter and the opponent isn't thinking about what the routes are, you can absolutely capitalize and destroy them. Uh, because they'll get a hit and then you'll spend two bars and you'll hit them back and you'll get full combo, right? So just be aware of it. Um, okay, so... Let's talk about spending meter outside of counter tag and outside of combo. So ignoring the uh, ignoring command grab supers because I think that those are uh, pretty self self explanatory as to when you should use them. Um, one of the biggest places that you can use a super is if you're doing pressure and you screw it up. Um, so if, if you are uh, trying to apply pressure to the opponent, um, let's do guard all. If you're trying to apply pressure to the opponent, right, and you screw it up, uh, you know, I'm trying to think, like, let's, let's say I go into flight and I, I don't know, I'm trying to, uh, Dante, Dante's a much easier character to, to explain screwing up pressure to, right? Because, like, I'm out here and, like, that's awkward, right? I'm, I'm just boned if I do that, right? So... Let's say I don't have tag. Like, this is a... It's an option for fixing the fact that you screwed up your pressure. It's not necessarily the best option, but it's an option. And it's a thing that a lot of people will do, especially with, like, bust-outs. So people people will do Venom Super, which isn't really a bust-out, but you know what I mean. People will do Zero Super. They'll do things where they'll do an unsafe move that doesn't have any obvious cancel outside of Super. Um, and, uh, you know... They'll just spend a bar to keep their turn. And spending a bar to keep your turn is a, a very valid use of bar in this game. I would say that the only thing that I feel like new players like to do that isn't great is they'll do meter spend to try to do, like, you know, mix like that. And I think that beam supers are, are generally not the best mix for lockdown because people can jump into them so easily. Um, so that's my only caveat there. So the other time you could use a spend meter outside of combo or counter tag is if you have a bust out. If you have a bust out, 
and I talked about this earlier, but always, always, always prefer using a bust out to eating a mix if you're not confident in blocking the mix. Um, because if the opponent fully goes for the mix, uh, you get a hit and you can confirm it off of tag and, and get a full combo. And you only spend one meter to possibly get a hit over spending two meters to counter tag and save your character. Now, that being said, there are certainly setups and situations where you simply cannot bust out. That's one of the reasons that I switched to Dante. I was sick of eating bust out with my old team and Dante can just super on their wake up and you tag and you can't bust this out, right? You have to, you have to eat those mixes. Um, so not always a situation you can do. Morrigan is the exception to the rule. Obviously Morrigan's bust out beats, beats that lockdown super, it beats everything. Um, but you know, for most of the cast, Nova, Gamora, Chun-Li, characters with bust outs that are more sane, uh, you will have to eat some pressure, but, and you know, they're also, to be clear, like I know Bane, for example, has ways of catching bust out. And I know even Bane's uh, Winter Soldier bust out is something that's not real. You can jump behind it. There are ways of of beating it by calling it out, but you have to go for the call out. Um, okay, so I talked about lockdown. Super tag pressure. Super tag pressure is extremely strong. It is the meta of the game. It's very good, uh, and that's basically, in my view, the main places that you should spend meter outside of combo or counter tag. Oh, I guess I didn't call, talk about whiff punishing. So if if you know, let's let's uh, here. Let me switch this to record. So if Dante, I hate that you can't record with tag, but or you can't record on a. Let's say Dante does something like this, uh, or maybe just boom, boom, and I'm blocking, right? Oh, and of course I record over it. All right, so Dante does that, right? You know, that that's a totally, totally fine way of whiff punishing, right? Uh, it, 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 oftentimes, the opponent will do something, will do some pressure, and you'll push block them off of you. And if they don't have a way of frame trapping you with an advancing special or or supering to make their, their pressure safe, a lot of the time you can push block, especially beginner and intermediate players, you can push block their pressure off of you. And if you super and tag, that can hit them. I'm not saying that that's going to work against everyone. Against top players, they will they will create pressure that frame traps you and beats that option. And, and push block super is a skill that that goes down in uh that goes down in uh usefulness as you get better and i don't use it very much anymore but it is a way especially if they're doing options or they're whiffing things full screen or you're play playing a zoner who's whiffing things full screen and if you have a super that can reach them totally valid use of bar absolutely consider doing it absolutely consider just starting with a super to punish a opponent doing something stupid and then go into whatever right okay so that's basically everything i wanted to talk about with meter uh yeah that's basically uh the stuff with meter let's talk about storm and life and the other two resources so obviously we've got the storm meter at the bottom there if you don't know every surge builds one percent of that meter and that meter goes up to a hundred percent so 100 surges gets you storm. Um, if you get hit, you also get your meter built. Uh, I haven't looked at the exact math, but you know, basically you take damage and you build storm. And red damage counts, so you can build more storm than there is life in the game. Um, the other, other, other thing is. Uh, when you lose a character, you instantly build half a bar of storm. So the game just gives you 50% of your meter when you lose a character. Now, what that means is you can storm three times in a match if you're managing all of your resources really well. Um, you theoretically could storm more, but you generally matches don't last that long. But three storms is like pretty optimal if you're doing everything and managing your resources well and bringing health back for your characters, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, two storms is generally what you should, at the very least, be getting. If you're not storming twice a match, you're probably 
like uh, and you're not making the decision to do that there are certainly situations where um if you're using soul for example you you might not want to storm early because your character isn't dead yet and so you don't necessarily get two storms if you're using space there are situations where you want the full box time because you want to get more mixes on the opponent and you don't want to use only the half box time that you get from storming halfway through um so there are times when you might not want to storm that many times in the match, but if you're using power, if you're using mind, if you're using a lot of these other storms, uh, oftentimes it is better to just storm more to win more. Uh, OG, that's a really excellent point. I should be talking about that a little bit. So one thing that is important to keep in mind with, um, that is the wrong person, with uh, resource management is you can manage the opponent's resources. So you can adjust your combos Right, to leave the opponent's meter. So I intentionally basically put the opponent at about 1.8% of their meter. So they're not at two meter. Which means that if I hit them on their wake up, they can't storm instantly. Or excuse me, they can't counterattack instantly, excuse me. So if I do something like this, you know, nothing they can do. And that's uh, managing your opponent's resources and seeing how much resources they have and adjusting your combo route accordingly is obviously not a beginner skill, but it is something to keep in mind as you're improving at the game. It is something that top level players are thinking about. You know, top level players will absolutely go for just like that, that level of combo. They'll go for that level of combo just because they see that the opponent was at almost getting two bar and they they don't want them to be at two bar they want them to be at less than two bars so that their next hit will definitely secure the kill because they could have gone way past that damage but then their next hit will instantly be counter tagged unless they dump unless they dump a uh, meter which not all characters can necessarily dump meter to confirm so it's like it's a good point og um it, it's definitely something to be aware of uh okay so storm Storm can be used in a lot of different ways. Obviously, Storm can instantly level three, right? I had one meter, I'm level threeing. Um, is, uh, you know, a good point as well. You can manage the resources to avoid giving them Storm before uh, you get the kill. Yeah, if, if you're worried about them boxing you or something, you, that is definitely another thing to keep in mind. Uh, okay, so level three from Storm a great way of getting a lot of damage while keeping your ability to counter tag. So depending on your storm, in my opinion, with power, this is always the play. Um, I will, if I'm trying to make a comeback, even if I have full power storm, and I, you know, it's character dependent. Some characters get better pressure out of power than others, but uh, sorry, uh, if, I, if I have two characters and I want to be able to counter tag, I will blow storm so that I can get get a kill over blowing three bars so I can get a kill. Because I want to be able to counterattack. I want to be able to, to keep my defensive options open. Um, you know, if you've got a character like Dante with an install, if you've got a character like Nova or other characters that have, you know, well, with Nova, he both gets, you know, better moves off of having meter, but also bust out, right? If you want to be able to threaten bust out, uh, you know, it's better to have three meters for three bust outs than storm for one, you activate storm and maybe you level three and you're still kind of eating mix. Um, so it, it's a thing to keep in mind of like how, how do resource, how, how do you want to manage your storm utility and resource um, versus how do you want to manage your meter? And this, the storm you have really changes that, right? Because if you have soul, Obviously, you're not going to try to, or I should say, you shouldn't try to use soul to get a kill if it isn't going to kill the second character of the opponent. Because if they're, because basically, you're handicapping your comeback potential. Soul is, is very much a comeback storm. Um, if you're using box or reality, there are certainly situations where you would much rather use those storms uh, to get more damage and more pressure and more advantage than to just get the level three. So, you know, it comes down to your own decision-making and the way you want to play your team and your, your stone. Um, I think that's the majority of what I want to talk about there. 
Uh, I want to talk about health management as well. This is something that I see new, new, new players, like very, very beginner players, I will unironically see them in situations like this. I'm just going to set up the situation. Do, 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 do. Oh, I don't have meter. Um, whatever, I'll just do this a couple times. Oh, I did not want that. All right. But my, my, the point I'm trying to make is they will be in situations... I wish you could set red health in this. I wish I wish this game had like Street Fighter Six level uh, training mode, but it doesn't. Um, basically, what I'm trying to get across is if if the opponent has you know uh, a tiny tiny bit of health left, or sorry, if you have a tiny tiny bit of health left, um, let's say here, this is fine. This is fine. So let's say we're in this situation. What should you be thinking about if you're the opponent playing Carol and Dante? You should be thinking about getting Carol out of the screen so she can heal all that red health. Like, that is, right? Because if I'm if I'm Carol and I'm like, oh, I tag. Now let's just watch. Like, look at, she's healing. And it's not like she heals slowly. Like, I can lame out with Dante. I can just like, boop, doop, doop, doop. I'm, I'm playing neutral, I'm playing neutral. Dante stuff, Dante stuff, right? Like, come, like, whatever, whatever, whatever. And like, she's healing this whole time. I can just like lame out, tr jump up in the air, you know, dive across the screen, just do whatever, install if I have to. But, like, you can heal an incredible amount of health by just playing lame and putting your other character in. And obviously it's a game where playing lame isn't necessarily the easiest thing. You know, if I'm playing against a top player, this is going to be a lot harder. But beginner players aren't usually playing against top players. They're playing against intermediate players or other beginners. And intermediate players and other beginners have a much harder time preventing you from just playing lame. Um... You don't necessarily heal at all. You just need to heal enough to take two damage without dying. That's true. You don't necessarily need to heal all of your red health. You just want to heal enough red health that that character can take two hits. And that's about 70 or 80%, depending on who you're playing and what the situation is. But it's never a bad idea to heal. And my point is that I definitely see new players who aren't using Soulstorm play, a, play one character until they are completely dead and then play the other character. They're not playing with their team. They're not, they're not applying pressure with their team. They don't want to switch between the characters. And tag is like one of the best moves in the game and one of the most common moves in the game. And managing your health is incredibly important and like a very, very, very simple decision-making thing that you can just be like, oh, they're low on health and I can recover all of that. Let's get them out. And one thing that I will do with my team is Dante is obviously a 9k character, Carol's a 10k character. If Dante's at like half health or below and Carol's healthy, I'm getting Dante out of there. I'm playing the whole game with Carol, and the only thing I'm doing with Dante is I'm going for this setup, right? I'll go for this setup. Mix. If they block all that, super tag. Back to Carol. Carol does, like, if he, they, they either block the mix or they don't block the mix, and now Carol is my point again, and Dante's out of there. So keeping in mind, like, which character are you wanting to play with? Which character is healthy? Which character are you benching and only using for specific situations? These are all decisions that new players aren't even, like, near their heads. Like, it, they're, they're, they're not something that they're even thinking about. Um, if you wait until they're obviously bleeding, your escape is more obvious and thus less safe. That's true. That's true. And, like, here's another thing. Like, sometimes the right escape, if Dante's low on health, the right escape is just super. It's just super in tag, and then just try to get pressure. Um, and, you know, there are definitely characters. I'm looking at XC, I'm looking at Hulk, I'm looking at uh, Zero and Stealth. I'm looking at, I think Tyson is also good at this. There are players who will hunt down your assist on the screen if you try to do that and you don't get the hit. And you have to, like, basically adjust your positioning and harass them from afar to prevent them from killing your assist. Because there are, like, good players will just, like, launch the assist over and over again. And unless you hit them and try, try to interact with them, your, your, uh, your character's dead. Uh, the other thing, I want to talk about the other side of that. So if, if I'm doing a bunch of damage to Carol here, and she's got a ton of red health, right? I did this accidentally earlier, but throw is an excellent way of removing red health from the opponent it, it just gets all the red health out of there it makes it so that they can no longer make those those uh decisions and i don't i think that there are some new players that don't know that throw removes red health there are very few intermediate or advanced players that, that don't know that um so the the normal throw is really good i talked about how supering builds only red damage this will be on youtube absolutely yes i'm gonna throw this on youtube
Um, I've already got three sets of this on YouTube, but this is going to be a, a, a less tightly edited version. Um, if you low, low, low health, sometimes fighting out is the only way to survive. That's true. Sometimes you just got to fight it out. Uh, okay, so let me just review my notes here. Um, yeah, no, I think I think most of these things that I'm saying are, are basically all I want to talk about with health management. Health management, think about it. Think about managing your health. All right, so I might do a cut here. I might do a cut here uh, in the in the YouTube edit just because we're going to talk about stones next. Um, the only thing I want to talk about before I go into stones is there is a there's a document. I'll I'll link it in the instructions or excuse me in the in the description of this video. This is this is the this is Rainbow's combo guide. Um, it is a Google Doc that he has that Rainbow's very kindly has made and it has linked on his uh, Twitter. I think it's his pinned tweet. Um, I think this might be pinned. This might be in the uh, in, info for other uh, guides as well. But there are a lot of other more advanced concepts that this thing covers regarding the combo system. And uh, you should look at it. You should read it. Um, it's incredibly it's incredibly useful and not enough people know about it. Not enough people look at it. Um, it's the first time you see I were tags are unsafe to the character tagging out. Very dynamic feature of the system. Yeah, I didn't, I'm, I'm not, I, I tend not to try to compare this game to the other NBCs when uh, when creating these guides because I don't want to, 